Welcome, Starseeds and Lightworkers. It is Ava here, and I know I've been away for a little bit. Life has been busy here with the summer hustle and bustle. And we are really coming up on the 7-7 portal leading up to the 888 triple Stargate Lionsgate portal, which is very different from a typical Lionsgate. We have an eighth Stargate opening within the Earth that is actually creating energetic alignments to other star systems from what we've heard from Diana. That's actually creating an opportunity for upgrades of DNA unlike anything we've seen on our planet yet. So I thought we would take this opportunity to do a little bit of a series here over the next you know month. We'll kind of pop in here a few times and give you some updates along the way. We've also got some great free live events leading up to the 888 portal. So I'll leave, link some information about that in the video below so you can tune into that as well. But really, I just wanted to, to reconnect, bring in Diana of the Pleiadian family. And for those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Ava. I'm a channel for the Pleiadians. And we um, are, that's what we do here. <laughs> so I'm going to actually just go right out and put you in touch with the benevolent, loving Diana, who is quite hilarious as well, to see what she has to say specifically around the seven seven portal because we're just a few days out from that and then we'll uh, maybe she'll uh, dip your toe into what's coming up here around the corner with the 888 as well so welcome glad to have you here and here we go <clears throat> ah, greetings this is Diana of the Pleiadian family you see we are here we like to tell all the newbies we call the newbies mm, here to bring the love you see bring the love you see we are here to to help your planet you see we've been actually helping for a long time you see mm, there's been a little bit of a buzz on your planet now all the Pleiadians you're like oh I'm curious about that word I never heard it before mm, and some of you have been following for a long, long time uh, Diana this is old news you see we all know we are we are some of us are Pleiadian you see we are here helping and some of you are very much aware of this aspect and some of you are like who is this crazy lady you see wherever you are we welcome you with the love you see and what we like to say here is mm, you are curious about the 7-7 seven, seven portal well it's, first of all we have to talk about the very um what you call the elephant in the room you see because mm, we are working here with these mm, galactic opportunities of uh, alignment with your mm, what you call Gregorian calendar, you see, which is really just a, a big mess of, of nothing, you see, really made up, you see, nothing nothing serious, nothing concrete, you see. So why mm, are we using these numbers, these artificial numbers to overlay on top of these cosmic events, you see? This is very important to understand, you see. Mm, it is no, no purpose at all, and it means nothing. Isn't that fascinating, you see? What gives meaning to these things is the humans. Isn't that fascinating? So because enough of you are coming together with a specific intent, you create the reality you choose. So you're creating this energetic portal simply through your intention. You're like, ooh, the 7-7, seven, seven. We're, we're all into the angel numbers, things like this, master numbers, things like this. So you're like, ooh, the 7-7, seven, seven. ooh, the 8-8, eight, eight. ooh, the 9-9. Nine, nine. They are fancy numbers, you see but really have no meaning at all, you see. It's only the meaning you give it, you see. But this is true for all of creation. Everything in creation is neutral in its frequency. You see, what gives it meaning is the humans. That is the capacity of the human is to give meaning to creation, to form. You see, that is really the beauty of the human form is, is the ability to provide meaning and context to what would otherwise be a very dull and boring situation, you see. So very, 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 very amazing capabilities and capacity of the humans we have here to bring meaning to something that was otherwise otherwise meaningless. If you think about that for even a second, to bring meaning to something that is meaningless, wow, it is really fascinating. And you'd go along your day doing it so often that you it becomes commonplace for you. It is really, really important to take a stop and, and recognize your power. So you are bringing meaning, you are bringing collective meaning to 7-7 seven, seven, this upcoming day, which I think is like a Sunday, also meaningless days, you see. You are, are putting upon all these meaningless names and numbers to the energies of cycles, of seasons, you see. So it's important that you begin to start to tune into the cycles and the season, seasons and the rhythms themselves, you see. What do we have here that mm, provides these kind of more natural calendars, sh should we say? Well, you have the rising and the falling of the sun and the moon, you see. And these provide these natural, mm, excuse me, natural heartbeat of, of, of ways to tune in, you see. So 
getting in, in, in line with these natural ways. And then you will notice that it is really the other things become a little bit more secondary in that way than the, the Sunday, the, the, the seven, seven, whatever day of the week, whatever day of the number, it is not as much importance. You see, you are, are aligned with the right level of importance of where everything is in creation. You see, so you're bringing meaning to the seven, seven, but what is the meaning that you are bringing to it collectively? You see, because there is things that are happening cosmically that you are then available for to tune into, you see, in the form. Well, if you think about in, in parts of the world right now, we are in where the Ava, this but this body here that we speak through, is in the, the heat of the summer right now. It is in Vermont, in the United States, you see. So um, for, for her, um, there is an intensity of the sun, right? We just passed through the summer solstice. Others of you just passed through the winter solstice. So it is dependent upon where you live. Um, but in this particular flavor, there is a frequency of um, letting there be a distillation in the energy field, a distillation of the frequency of the aura. So you are letting the aura become more permeable because um, then you can receive the downloads from the, from the sun, from the frequencies of the, of the intensity of the information coming through, the informing, it is informing your form, you see, the, the sun, the light, you see, so that the, the frequency of the light codes coming onto the planet now, informing your body, but it is doing so, your body is creating a diffusion so that you can receive more of it, you see, it's a little bit easier and softer on the form. So that is what is happening on the 7-7, seven, seven, is there's a lot of intensity so the aura is simply mm, diffusing the frequency a little bit for a more to come through in a gen more gentle and easy way. So it doesn't have to feel so harsh, like you're coming up against a brick wall or something like this. Very gentle, easy. This is what we like, you see. Do not have to go through life with mm, like, a, like rocking the boat all the time. Like like to have a little bit of a gentle ride on the sea some days, you see. So this is really the, the intent of the 7-7, seven, seven, you see. We are leading up into frequencies of intensity. We are mm, in stepping stones. We had the last one on the eclipse, you see. I'm going through the United States, you see. A very big, big, big moment for the entire planet, you see. So uh, there are these moments of upgrading happening on the planet, which is in, in cycle happening for the humans as well. So what is going on there is your form is upgrading as quickly as it can, comfortably, uncomfortably. Uh, the, these are the places where you get free will to choose, you see. Some of you choose the comfortable route. Others of you are having a little bit of a bumpy ride, you see. But you are choosing that, you see. So getting clear, if you're not excited about the bumpy ride anymore, you would like more smooth, decide, get, get clear on how you are deciding for the bumpy, and then you change it to the smooth. It is very simple, you see. So getting in, in line with the, the, the ride that you choose, whether it is a bumpy one or a smooth one, is not a problem, you see. But it's, it's choice of where you are going in the upgrade process, you see. Because these are, are moments happening on the planet. The actual physical Earth is, is doing her upgrading, shifting in frequency, you see. All her little, little children on the planet, all the, the humans, you see, on the forms are also doing that same thing, you see. It's a reflection. You see, so we are also doing our own upgrade process. And so some of us are right there along with Mother Earth, one step by step, right in line with her. You see, we are coming up to 8-8, eight, eight, you see, 8-8 eight, eight strand DNA, you know, potentially for some of the humans, you see, the ones that are maybe in the caves meditating or just having the best life ever. You see, you're right along step by step with Mother Earth in her upgrades. Others of you still on two, still on two, two strands of DNA activation, you see, but we are working to open, to uh, to elevate, and to activate these other strands, you see. And so it is simply by how you are living your life, you see. We're having a, a nice little opportunity with the Shiloh and the Ava mm, to do an 888 Stargate extravaganza. Those are some big words. We'll put the, we will have a, an opportunity to click, click, click below to 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 do it to 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 have a, a extravaganza with Diana with Shiloh do some astral travel do some channeling get the body prepared you see do some mm, lightening up in your form getting rid of the having a little bit of a detox you see from the the elements you see so that you can really begin have a clear vessel for the 888 portal so if you would like to receive the upgrades on the Lion's Gate, we recommend that you ex experience the extravaganza so that you can really mm, have the fullness of the opportunity to, to really take advantage of the energies that are coming onto the planet, you see, because what the energy is, is the energy. 
It's up to you what to do with it, you see. So it is your choice. You have a choice point. That is the beauty of the free will. You see, so this is a little bit of the 7-7, seven, seven, and we dip the toe into the 8-8. Eight, eight. We will maybe t talk a little bit more deeply on what is happening, but this is a very powerful time of summertime in the Northern Hemisphere and in the Southern southern Hemisphere as well. Wherever you are in the planet, you see, it is a very normal time of upgrade, opportunity. So looking into your life of where are you ready to let go of the things that are no longer serving you? And what are you ready to step into? What is calling you forward? You see, and being ready to say yes to that. Being ready to say yes to that. So really be in contemplation over this next month. of What are you ready to say yes to? You see. And so it is really about how we can really work together as collective. See, this is really the beauty. We're coming into the time of beauty, of power and beauty and alignment, of working together in collaboration and community and harmony, you see. It may not look like that quite yet, you see, in the external, but it is also where you're choosing to focus your energy. So if you are focusing your energy on elections and chaos and things like this, you have that choice point too. Of where are you going to focus your frequency? You see, keep it in the frequency of the love. Keep it in the frequency of, of understanding that we are all one collective here, having a united experience, you see. So be in the frequency of, of, of unity and feeling your mm, experience of the multidimensionality in all the ways that is playing out in the world. It is really a beautiful thing. This is Diana of the Pleiadian family sending love to you all. Blessings. <clears throat> Ah, if you like that message, I trust that that was exactly what you needed to hear today. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a comment below, sign up for updates, do all the, the 3D things. It takes me a second sometimes to, to fully land back here, but I am so grateful for all of you in the community here continuing to tune in and we'll put the links below for both the 7-7 and the upcoming 8-8 and the extravaganza coming up as well. I hope you can tune into all of that and we look forward to seeing you so soon. Blessings. Mm -hmm.